Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a, another haul video. This is going to include some hair, some makeup, a little bit of tech, and just some random things that I picked up. I'm going to be honest, some of the stuff I have had since like last summer has been sitting in like my bin to put away since last summer and I have not put it away and it's getting a little full now that I've had like some orders from like the new year and Christmas and all that stuff coming up. So it's not a big haul because I don't actually buy a lot of stuff in general. So um, it's not a big haul, but this is just stuff. Some of the stuff has been sitting in my little takeout bin and put away bin. And then I have a couple things that I ordered as of recent over the past like month or two um, but I wanted to share with you guys because I like doing haul videos and I have not done them in a long time and I usually I haven't done them in a long time because I haven't done any like real beauty haul shopping in a long time if you guys can tell by some of my makeup tutorials I use a lot of the same products so I don't find a need to haul the things that I've already showed you guys so a lot of this stuff is going to be stuff that I haven't shown haven't used here on my channel or shown on my channel at all before um, maybe like one or two things are like repurchases and like things that I use like normal. But yeah, so we're going to get into the video. I'm not going to make this intro long because this is probably already going to be a long video. So, you know, go grab your tea, your wine, something to drink. And yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so if you guys saw my last haul, if you not, if not, I will have that linked in the um, cards, so you guys can check that out and link down in the description box as well. In that haul, I did do a haul on the items that I got from Impressions Vanity, and I kept that stuff separate, specifically just because it was, you know, like four things, and you know, it was just that video was long in itself. So I'm gonna start with. This one, show my address. This box here from Ulta. I ordered some things from Ulta, not a lot, um, but I wanted to. You guys know I have been getting into. I'm sorry if you guys hear a little. My mic situation is a little janky right now until you know I unpack the stuff that I need to unpack. So um, I ordered a bunch of lashes from Ulta. Um, and just a couple little like normalcy type of things. Um, this is not from Ulta. Okay, so the first thing that I ordered, these are some of my favorite style of lashes. These are the Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. These are some of my favorites. I love the ones that go from like small and then flare out at the top. So I love lashes that are actually shaped like this. So I ordered a pack of these, which they come in five pairs. So I ordered a pack of these. Um, I think I only ordered one. Yes, I did. I ordered the Kiss Lash Adhesive, the latex free one. It says with aloe. I ordered two of them. I've never tried this particular lash glue before, but I heard really good things about it. So I picked up two and it was on sale. So they were only like three bucks. I believe like either like two ninety two or three bucks. Um, on sale at Ulta and I do like the lash adhesive that has the brush and not the tube so that was a plus so I'm curious to see how these work out as opposed to my dual lash glue which I do use the dual lash glue right now um, next is I ordered five pairs of these because these are my like absolute favorite every single I can wear these well, I don't wear lashes every single day but if I had to these would be them these are the Ardell baby demi wispies i wore these in my um soft glam makeup look i will have that linked in the cards these are really great beginner they're pretty much like these but shorter um as far as like like length they don't go out as much these are like super duper natural they're super let me zoom in on these they're super duper short and just super just so freaking pretty so I actually ordered five pairs of these um, because these are some of my favorite lashes so I ordered five pairs of those um, from Ardell these are like my go-to like 
I want to wear lashes and I need this to be as painless and as easy as possible, these are the ones that I grabbed. Next in lashes I bought, which I ordered five pairs of these as well. I've never actually tried these specific ones, but these are the um, Ritzy lashes, lashes from Kiss as well. And they're kind of shaped like the Demi lashes, but they just seem a little... I don't know. Maybe they're like the Kiss version. I mean the Ardell version because they look pretty similar to each other. But I do like the Invisalign bands, which is another reason why I like like these types of lashes. I really don't, I'm not really into like big, thick bands. Um, so these are actually just really, really easy to work with if you're a beginner. So I got these and I ordered five pairs of these because again, these are just, I just love the shape of these. And I was watching a girl's video. She was showing like one of her favorite lashes and these were on there and I really, really like them. So I ordered five pairs of these because these were on sale as well. So that's all the lashes that I got from Ulta. I do have some more lashes from somewhere else that I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, I did order pick up two, my favorite liquid liner right now. This is the MYX matte liquid liner. So I ordered two of these because I go through this stuff like like underwear like this this is my go-to liquid liner um drugstore brand especially my other one that i really like is by iris iris beauty that's one of my favorite liquid liners as well right now um but i still have that one so i didn't order reorder that one but i didn't have any of this matte one from myx i will have the iris beauty one linked down below as well i've shown that in a previous video i think in one of my contact videos um but i love this is like my favorite drugstore brand and then lastly I picked up the James Charles eye brush set from Morphe this is like the one where he came out with like the his palette but the mini version that I didn't want because I already had the big version and I had no need to order the mini version um but he did come out with an eye brush set um and I do like Morphe eye brushes um and these have this set has three brushes and a tubby which I usually don't use the tubby for anything but it comes with it it has his name branded on it um and they had it at Ulta so I just ordered it from Ulta and it was on sale at Ulta not on the Morphe website so I did get it from the Ulta website which is why I got it from the Ulta website because I did order some things from Morphe it hasn't come yet but this wasn't on sale so I ordered it and it just comes with like a mini tub set which I don't use because I put my brushes somewhere else and it just comes with 13 brushes um, some of them are different than the ones he had in the original set like these three are different than what he had in the original set these are like synthetic brushes which I think they're synthetic versions of the hair brushes that are in his set those were in there and then some of these were in the original um, set as well but I like having multiple brushes for um, one look even like when you guys saw I did that rainbow look um, that I'll have link in the cards um, I used a different brush for each color so I like having tons of eye brushes so I picked that up that's the only reason I picked this up because it was on sale and I like having multiple brushes eye brushes and it was a cute little set um, I do like this tubby though it's super skinny but I know I'm not going to leave it out on my desk. Mainly because I don't like having like other YouTubers names in my video. But, like I got my own shit to promote. <laughs> okay and then really quickly I ordered two new shade sticks from Juvia's Place. I do have a ton of them. But I wasn't really happy with finding my perfect match. So I picked up two more of them. Um, I picked up the darkest shade for contouring. Um, this one is in Congo. I picked up it's a pretty deep shade. Tanzania was good, but I feel like I could have went a little bit darker. So I did pick up this one. And then I also picked up Namibia. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that so wrong. Um, this one. And I'm hoping this one is more of my complexion. Um, let me see if I can. Um, I feel like I can either make it work or I can at least mix it with another one of the shades that I already have. So, yeah, that's why I picked up these two from Juvia's Place. 
And yeah, I actually had popped one open to make sure it was the right thing inside. But that's why I picked up um, those two. That was the only thing I ordered from Juvia's Place. I pretty much have everything else from Juvia's Place except their brushes. And as y'all know, you can tell, I don't need no more brushes. I mean, I don't need to be ordering <laughs> But never mind. Let me just stop lying because I can always use more brushes. I just haven't gotten to the point of ordering Juvia's Places brushes yet. I haven't gotten there yet. Um, next is some more lashes. These are from Lavish Lux Lashes. I mentioned their lashes in one of my other videos. Like one of my like calming type of videos. And I ordered some of her lashes. Um, this is a black owned business. Oh, no. It's my P.O. Box. No, it's not my P.O. Box. Um, black owned brand and I ordered a phone pair for mink lashes um, as well I ordered how many pairs I ordered four of them um, I love her lashes they are such great quality guys and it came with like a free um, eyelash tool which I actually like the ones that are like this because they're easier for me to put on but I ordered some of her lashes I ordered how many pairs of them I ordered four of them Sorry, the first one that I have is Joelle. I love the box that it's in. Um, this is, I'm going to actually zoom in for these. These are, it's the packaging. The packaging is so pretty. The box is like glittery. And then these are the lashes. These are Joelle. Hopefully you guys can see them. So those are Joelle. They're super pretty. These are like all her faux mink lashes. I know I'm out of focus right now, but I don't want to have to keep refocusing um, while I zoom in. Um, these are Joelle. And then the next one is Iris. And then those look like that. Super pretty. Oop super pretty these again like get small and then flare out to the front i really like these these seems like ones that i can work with that they're not too you know hard to work with these are i think these are danny oh yeah these are danny yeah these are danny um so these look like this Again, these remind me of like the baby Demi Wispy lashes, but they're shorter and they're obviously these are all mink lashes. And then this one is like a little dramatic, but we, I'm, I'm going to try it out. This is Monaco. Who baby. These right here, girl. I don't know where I'm going, but we going somewhere. Okay, so those are the lashes that I got from her. These are, um, again, the Lavish Lux Lashes um, from, I'll have her Instagram linked down below. I know she's doing um, some rebranding and restocking and things during this time and things like that. So I will have her Instagram linked down below for um, to check these out. Her lashes are really, I still have the ones, they were called Jordan. I still have those um, and they are holding on strong even though I did cut them. But their bomb and I'm glad I got my hands on a few more pair of hers um next is I got some this is gonna sound real weird and real random some boob tape um I got some from a bunch of different different places I can try out um you guys will see I have a bra haul coming up um I kind of want to like try some of this stuff out for larger boobs because I feel like there's not enough videos like that here on YouTube every time I see people trying out like this boob tape or like, like bra hauls. I'm like, y'all titties are small. Like y'all can wear boob tape. Like y'all don't even need boob tape. Like what y'all holding up? Ain't nothing that holds up. Wear some pasties and call it a day. So I picked up some because I definitely want to try them out. I ordered um, some from I think three or four different companies. Um, first I ordered from this one. This one I believe it's just called boobtape.com. Yeah, I think this one's called boobtape.com. I ordered, they have like three different ones. They have the strong and then the extreme. I ordered the extreme because I have 
big boobs and yeah and this one is a one-time use product and I bought it in the color black I'll just pull it out I'm not gonna like take it out out um, but this is the tape I'm just gonna push it out the middle so you guys see so this is the tape I'm gonna try it out um, probably as I try it out I will hopefully film some videos or at least give you guys some updates but this was the first company that I ordered some boob tape from and it did um, some nipple covers as well which it comes with three nipple covers as well which I'm going to assume that they are black as well I don't know no no they're not they're not they're beige which I think these might have came free though so I can't be too mad um, but I mean and it's gonna be hot in in the boot tape or at least it should be so came with those and it also came with instructions of how to apply it so I'm going to keep you guys updated on that and let you know how that works out with this particular brand of blue tape. Like I said, I ordered from about three or four different places that have blue, blue tape. So, oh, next are these. These are also some boob tape things. These ones is called the Rabbit. Um, I ordered something else from there. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Um, these are like the rabbit ear things. I ordered, I think I have three pairs of these, honestly. Yeah, I have three pairs of these. Um, but these are them. I was actually surprised about how big this was. So I'm curious to see how this is going to work. Um, these say you can reuse them. So that's a good thing. A lot of the other ones are one time use. So this is the, it's actually pretty big big space and it has like a little bit I'm curious to see how this will work on my boob covers a good portion I mean not covers the whole thing obviously but I'm curious to see how this holds up um and it also I have the cleaner it's in like a different language but it, I've ordered the cleaner that comes with this because these are supposed to be reusable um as far as like the adhesive part um so I'm curious to see how that'll work so I do have like you could order like a cleaner for it. I'm sure you can just use soap and water, but you know, I ordered this as well. So I have three pairs of those. Which, yeah, three pairs. I ordered them all in black. That's just like my go-to color. I don't really go for like skin tone colors and all that kind of stuff. I usually just go for black because black just usually works under and with everything. So I usually order black. Next. I'll finish up with the boob tape. I ordered this one is from New Boo. More boob tape. This is from a brand called New Boo. Yeah. And but this, the funny thing is, like, I feel like all these brands are probably similar or related somehow. But this one I ordered two of them because I wasn't sure how big the roll was of this one. So I ordered two of them in black. I'll take one out in a second. And then this also came with um, nipple covers as well with five pairs of nipple covers in this one. No instructions. Um, I'm sure you can get the, oh, they do have instructions on the box, but I'm sure there's video instructions as well on the site, I believe. But let me pull this one out. Honestly, looking at it, it looks exactly like the other one. So, that's that one. So, yeah, this looks exactly like the other one. Um, there are instructions inside this box as well. So, I ordered two rolls of this because, like I said, I didn't know how big this roll was. And it didn't seem like it was that much. So, I ordered two. Like I said, I have a lot of boobs. So, I didn't want to get, get caught out there with one secure and one not. Um, next up, I ordered, lastly, I think this is the last boob thing I bought. This is Brassy Bra. I ordered from this mainly because of Kristen Alexis. She did a few videos on Brassy Bra, and she loves it. Her boobs aren't as big as mine, um, and I feel like hers might be a little bit just naturally more perky, but her boobs are big enough for me to be like, all right, I'll try it out. Um, and these I did order in the, I think this is the chocolate color maybe. Um, it does come with pasties. Um, it does come with a test strip um, to see if you are allergic. 
and I think this is pretty good color. Ooh, this is pretty good color, Brassy. Yes. Um, I did order the chocolate ones. If I do like them, I'm actually, in the meantime, probably going to order the black ones. These come with um, three pairs um, of each. I'm hoping this works. I did order the largest that they do have, which is the triple D, double D, the quadruple D size G size. It's the largest one they have. So I did order that. And then I also ordered... Um, they have this, um, this thing called that little extra where like little like side pieces, like if you need to put some on the side. So I did order those as well. So hopefully I'll feature these in an upcoming video of how these work for me. Um, but I am going to go back on site and order some black ones because they did, they are having a sale right now. It's so like buy one, get one free. And these are not cheap. They are $38 for three pairs and they're one time use. So... It's summertime coming up and I do plan on wearing a lot of off the shoulder and crop tops and backless things. So I'm hoping at least one of these boob tape things work for me. Okay, lastly I have just some re-up on some products that I usually order. Moisture Love, I have their... Gentle Embrace Shampoo, the Now We're Never Leaving, and you know my go-to styler, the Kindred Spirits. Um, these are like re-ups, back stock. I like to keep this line specifically in stock. It's like my favorite, like, I don't know what brand to use this wash day. This one is always a short thing, so I'll usually end up going with this one. I'm gonna be, some of the stuff I'm like, I didn't even know this was here. Um, next is, this place, they, they actually sent me this and I've never, I never gotten to it. I'm going to get to it though. This is from Sem, Sem Inc. Um, they sent me a bunch of like temporary tattoo joints that's supposed to last like days at a time. They sent me a whole slew of them. And I'm actually going to try them out. Um, I've actually tried some out before they sent me these. And then they sent me these, and then I, like, totally forgot. So I'm sorry, um, but I am going to work on it because there are, like, the thing I like about, like, temporary tattoos like this is that, one, they don't wash right off, number one. Number two, I can put them in places before I actually get a tattoo in that place and see how I like it because I know that I want one, like, here. Um, go here, you guys can see, like, up here, and I... I'm nervous to get it because I don't know. I was thinking about one to cover like my thyroid scar. I don't know, but I still want one somewhere here. Um, but nonetheless, there are a bunch of temporary tattoo joints um, that I'm definitely going to try and has the instructions right inside here of how to apply them and how long each are going to last depending on what body part you put them on. So yeah, so I'm definitely going to be trying this out um, to see, you know, just how they, you know, apply and work. And like I said, I, I pretty much know how they work. They do last, you know, about a week um, before it starts rubbing off. So that's something I've, I've had this for a long time, like maybe even before last summer. But like early, like last year, but definitely before the summertime, I've had this and I have not tried it out. So I'm, I need to put this close. So I remember you need to try that out. Um, and then this is something that I bought last summer. I really did. Um. It's from Camille Rose. This is from hers. <laughs> I'm just so like, this is so embarrassing that I had this stuff for over a year. Um, I ordered her, this was I think part of the Her Essentials line that she came out with. Um, plus one other thing that she came out with like later on at the end of last year. Um, it's like a set of five products. Um, um, I'll go through each one. I ordered the refreshing. It was a set, so I ordered it as a set. Um, the refreshing moisture mist. Um, this is the absorbent detangling lotion. Um, and then this is the defining curl smoothie from Come It Was. I didn't open this. I don't know what this stuff smells like. Like it's like it's still sealed. Like hmm hmm. It like smells good, but it smells banana fruit and coconut. Hmm. It smells good. I can't think of a smell. Is there ginger in it? I don't know. 
It's like a strong smell, but it's not like a headache kind of smell, but I don't know. It smells good, though. This is the Finding Curl Smoothie. Excuse me. Let me keep going. The Restorative Deep Conditioner. This is, they're all, these jars are all 8 ounces. And then this is the Nourishing Co-Wash. Ooh, nettle leaf. Let me see what this smells like. Yeah, it smells familiar to the color fine thing. So, I'm interested in trying these out. Uh, clearly, I've just been slacking. I'm going to be trying these out pretty soon because I am um, in my wash and go season and i just been slacking. But I did read some mixed, I have watched videos on this before I got it and since I got it. Um, and there were some mixed reviews as far as the styling part of it, like these two products. So I'll definitely try to get into that when I do it. And I do see why, but I will definitely get into that when I, um, when I use the product. So that's that. The last thing that I got from Camille Rose, this actually came out later in the, of last year. This is the brown butter melt from Camille Rose. The reason why I picked this up because I felt like it was going to be reminiscent of the Jane Carter Nourish and Shine. And I used to use that way back when I first went natural and I've never, ever, ever repurchased it even though I loved it so much. It's expensive. So I've never repurchased it. Um, and I feel like this is going to be rem rem reminiscent of that. You know what I'm trying to say. It's going to remind me of that. And it smells so good. Oh. Mm. I can't wait to try this out. Yeah, it's gonna give me that. Ooh, it's gonna be it's gonna be so similar to that. Sorry, does say you can use on your body, but I got my own mango butter for that. But um, so that is everything for the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm like kind of embarrassed that some of the stuff has been sitting in this room for over a year. But you know, we are gonna work it out. I do have to organize my um, makeup storage, so I will hopefully get that out for you guys as well. Um, as well, I do want to show you guys that, how I store my natural hair products and things like that. I am going to be doing my Q&A right after this video, so you will see this look again. Um, so if you guys are interested, just stay tuned. That video will be out soon. Make sure you thumbs up and subscribe so you do not miss a notification. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking my channel. I so appreciate it. Make sure you guys check out my shop to get a hold on these earrings, um, my body butter, my soap. All those types of things, my natural, um, my ebook, all that kind of stuff will be in my shop. I will have a link for that down below so you guys can check it out. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.